There are two things that I did not do well today. Number one, I would have brought snacks because I'm starving. Number two, I'm freezing. <laughs> It's so hot outside, but in here it's cold and I don't wanna mess with the air because this is a model home and I just feel like I shouldn't touch anything. Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. I spend a lot of time in my car driving and I feel like that's a big part of the day in the life of a real estate agent, so here we are. It's 8 a.m. I have about a 30 minute drive to pick up some clients and we are going to see a very unique community. It is called Wing South Air Park. It is the only community in Southwest Florida that has zoning for residential and aviation. So anyone who owns a home in there can also own a plane and park their plane at their home. You know how we have these Yeti sleeves for alcoholic beverages on the weekends? I put a Celsius in here and it stays cold all day and I'm gonna need it today. The coffee I made this morning, I did not know that that was cold brew concentrate and I just added my cream and some ice. It's way too strong, so. Twelve eighteen right now, and we're gonna head over to Tamarindo. I'm going to sit in a model home. I've never done this before. If a buyer walks in and I get them to sign a registration form, I get a commission if they close. This is my office for today. I'm gonna show you around a little bit. I think we're gonna sell a home today. I can feel it in the air. The price of this home, one of the best deals you can find in Naples for a new development, new construction community. Just making sure no one's at the door. When you're in a home that's designed and decorated tastefully, you just feel better. I read somewhere that you should have green, like a plant, whether it's real or fake, in every single room. And as I walk around this house, they did not miss that mark. There's plants everywhere, which I personally love. So I think what I'll do is I'll go back into my little desk area for the day. Yes, I get my own office. I'm gonna hook up to their Wi-Fi and until someone walks in, I'm gonna do some work. I am here until five and my goal is if someone walks in that door and they do not have an agent, I'm gonna sell them a house today. We have somebody. I gotta go. I've had one person come in, a couple, they were really sweet, I got their information, they were not represented by a realtor, and they're currently renting nearby. So that is a great lead. I really wanna pitch this community to them since they had the idea to come here. It's like a warm lead, they're already familiar. I've sent a few emails, I've cleaned up my CRM. I'm really trying to organize it so that it's actually effective and I'm not just spamming emails because I don't know about you, but I get a ton of emails every day so the more specific I can be with my CRM, the better chances I have of actually retaining that contact, if that makes sense. For the next 45 minutes, I think I'm gonna hop on my phone and do some editing for a few reels to promote this community. My friend and colleague who gave me this opportunity to sit this model home today, he came in, we had a lovely chat, we toured the neighborhood together. He's like, hey, are you, do you like this kind of thing? Do you wanna sit more model homes? I'm like, yeah. As agents, we're super busy and we're running around showing property, going on listing appointments, all the things, right? There's so many things, but there's also days where we're not doing shit. Okay, let's be honest. Meet other people in your industry. You never know who's gonna ask you, hey, love your personality, I see you're a hard worker. Do you wanna come sit in model home? Yes, because if someone walks in that door, I get the sale. We don't need to spend thousands of dollars a month on lead generation, okay? You don't. I know agents that have and that are successful, but you really, it's not necessary. And if I haven't said it already, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you like this video. If you didn't, then don't bother. The video that's performed the best on my channel is how to pick the best brokerage as a new agent. And I still get people commenting on that video. What you said is not true about Keller Williams and all these other places. 
they're right. Maybe the people I met with at those meetings did not explain to me the entirety of what the brokerage had to offer. Now that I know more about different brokerages and I've been educated by all of you in the comments, I'll do another video on that if you want. Leave a comment below if you think I should remake that video or do a second edition. It's 4.38 right now. My hair is a mess. It's the story of my life. It's always been like that. I just need a clip. I don't think I've drank any water today. I'm gonna check the fridge. Ooh. So the agenda for the rest of the day. I'm definitely gonna hit traffic on the way home. That's for sure. I really want to work out. We'll see if that gets done. Because I might not get home till 6 o'clock. And that's pretty late for me to work out. Especially if I have to be self-motivated and guide myself if I'm not in the class. So we'll see. Robbie's in charge of dinner tonight though, so that'll be good. How do you guys feel about team names? My name is so long and such a mouthful that I can't really use like the Natalie Perez Benatoa team. Like that's not it. So what do you think about the movement group? I like it. I don't know if I love it. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up here. I have 15 minutes. Life of a real estate agent. You feel like you might be busy. You're kind of on call. Anyone could walk through that door right now. And Hi, welcome to this model home in beautiful Tamarindo. It's almost 8 p.m. and tonight we're having cauliflower pizza and protein shakes. That's about it. I'm gonna preheat the oven, we're gonna eat dinner, and I'm gonna call it a night. My name is Natalie Perez Benatoa. I'm a real estate agent here in Southwest Florida. Thank you so much for watching, and like always, I'll see you next time. I'm sure you guys noticed, like, whoops. These are my real nails, but that broke off, and then of course I started picking it, because that's what we do. I'm human, what can I say?